So we're walking in from the garage. And here's some of my photos. These are back when I used to do view cameras. And that's uh, an Aspen Grove. And this is one of my favorites here. That's Hanging Lake. I did that with an 8x10 view camera. And I remember my friend Arnie looked at the slide. I was overseas at the time and I called him. I said, how do this, you see these big, they were like slides, like transparencies. And he said, well, I don't know. It looks, it looks pretty cool, but it looks like uh, a transporter beam from, from, um, oh, you know, Star Trek. Anyway, it's kind of a cool one. And that's another one there. And as we walk, oh, here's my office. This is where I write my posts, do my stuff. There's, that's Oscar. My father, years, I think two years before I was born, uh, sculpted that out of monkey pod in Hawaii. It's a gorgeous sculpture. And when he passed, that was the one thing I wanted. And there's the four McGowan boys. So, we are downstairs, and I'm going to take you into our theater. It's small. It's not a giant theater. And this is the whole room, you can see. I have some acoustic padding on the walls. These are a combination of uh, diffusers as well as absorbers. So they're made by a local guy and they're really quite good they don't make the room too dead because the one thing you don't want is to have the room too dead now here's the screen this is i think it's 130 inches if i remember right and what's unique about the screen let's see if we can back up is you'll see all the black area there that screen is what's called an acoustically transparent screen so I can't really show you where the speakers are, but behind the screen, here, here, and here, you have Bollinger Grabner ribbons that are behind the screen, mounted into the wall, and then we have an acoustic felt that goes over it. And, and down here, where the bean bags are, there is where I have all the subwoofers. And when you look at acoustically transparent screens or other solutions to the center, left, and the right, I, I don't see them done too often. For some reason, people think that you're losing some audio quality, some of the highs, and maybe you are. But I have to tell you that having the sound come right from the screen so that when the person who is is talking is coming right from the center of the screen or the left and the right just like what happens in a movie theater is huge that's a really big deal for me and i would never build a theater any other way these are i believe they're sunfire they're from bob bob carver there are also ribbons and then in the very back i just have some kind of crap speakers. I don't know what they are. I forgot now for the, the rears because that isn't too important. Up here, we built the projector box. Now my projector is a 4K projector. It's a, um, the heck is it? Well, I don't know. We can look in there and see, but it's a, it's a gorgeous projector and I really want it quiet. I'm an audio guy, right? So I don't want to have the sound, even if it's low, of that projector being broadcast into the room. So when I listen to the home theater, I want it quiet and I don't want to have any interference. So we built that and put a piece of optical glass right up in the front there. And you can see that. And I think it's a JVC, but I don't remember. The... Um, we can put the picture of the old guy in there if you want. So here's my, and, and back here we've got some storage, the popcorn machine, gotta have a popcorn machine, right? And CDs that I, and DVDs, Blu-rays that I basically no longer 
pay any attention to because we basically stream everything now. So there's my little extended playlist here. And this pretty much goes to waste. This is the equipment room. So I open that up and you can see here's all my equipment. There's the TiVo box, the Apple TV, and then the Oppo player. And I use the Marant. It's a surround sound processor. And I use Dan Lofman's amplifiers. These are the Emotivas. And you can see the all the channels in there. And then below that, of course, everything is powered by power plants. Those are our two P10 power plants. They run everything, including the projector, all the sound system, and they make a heck of a difference. So I'll show you the back here. If we we, we made this little trap door, the grandkids like to go in here and play hide and seek. So let's see if I can crawl in here. We also store a bunch of stuff. And here's the, if I don't hit my head and kill myself back here. All right, here's the rack. And you can see everything is balanced. So that's the back of the, of the uh, surround sound processor. Everything's balanced, feeding into the Emotivas. And like that. So that's the rack. Everything powered from the power plant. And I'm going to back myself out of this thing and hope I don't kill myself. We were just watching The Incredibles in here with the grandkids last night. Great movie. And we fired up the popcorn machine. Okay. So that's Paul's home theater. Oh, and one other thing. We, we, we're a, a pretty comfort-seeking group of people, so we don't have seating that is traditional in a theater. You'll notice that this couch is just for hanging out, and you could do all sorts of things for a seating, none of which really appeal to me. When I'm in my own home and I'm watching a movie, I want to be just comfy as hell, grab a glass of wine, set it over here, and enjoy the movie. So that is a view of Paul's home theater. Thanks for watching. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.